So hi guys, this is Kostu and today I'll be teaching you how to create a multi-selection recycler view in Android. And yes, this video is not going to be like me writing the code. Instead, I'll be walking you through the code because preparing the project from scratch and then making a video tutorial takes a lot of time. So I'm trying to show you the logic that I've implemented in one of my projects. Uh, and yes, this will save us a lot of time. So what I have here is an app made recycler view populated with some items and they pretty much do nothing except for the fact that when you long press them, Notice how the toolbar color just changes from pink to this gray with some new menu and then you can select some items, you can unselect them and you can press this button to select all the items, this button to deselect them and we have this subtitle text which just counts how many items we have selected and by pressing on this delete button you can delete them. So this is what I'm going to teach you how to build and also this video is not going to be for the beginners who are just getting started with the Android Studio. This video is for those people who do know what is MVVM because this app is written using MVVM and some other architectural components. So yes, before just getting into the code, let me explain you what this app actually does. So like I said earlier, this app is set up using an MVVM architecture. We have a recycler view with some lists and the data is provided using a SQLite database with the help of Bloom Persistent Library. There's this repository which is managing offline database and web resources. For instance, I've just cut off the web resources so that we can actually focus on local database. And to make sure to keep this example simple. And now you may be wondering like why I'm making a video on this topic when there is so much content available on YouTube. And you are right, there's so much videos that exactly teaches how to do this. I mean not exactly, but you get my point. In fact, there's a library which is developed by Google itself, and where I explored recycleview.selection, which is a library that does this exact same job of multi-selection in Android. Having all of this thing here, why well, I'm still making a video? Now guess what? There is a bug and the bug is pretty much like it just interfered with your gesture. Like for example, if I want to implement this app to support a swipe gesture, like I want to delete this item by swiping to right or left, I cannot do this when using this library. And also you can notice when the app is in normal state, we have some image and a small tag in the item. But when we go into a multi-selection state, they just disappear. And this is one of the things that you can't do using this library. At the end of the day, I want you to learn the correct way of setting this multi-selection in Android. So enough talking, let's move to the code. So our app currently supports two states. First is a normal state, which is right now what you're looking at with the toolbar color as pink. And then there's the second state, multi-selection state, which gets activated when you long press an item. So at the end of the day, we have to adapt to this state and change the recycler view items according to it. So how we do this, how we represent the state. Well, guess what? There's a simple thing. Uh, let me open the code. We have enum classes. We will use these variables to determine what state we are currently in and then update the UI according to it. Whenever I have to do this, I create a separate class for state management and the class I call here is a main state manager. So in this state manager class, we have lots of variables and functions. I'm not going to go through them one by one. Instead, I will explain it to you as we further progress in this video. So what you need to know right now is we have a private variable underscore to bus state, which is a mutable like data of this enum class and which has a default value of normal view state. Notice that its name is mutable live data. That means we can observe it. And that's exactly what we are doing by using this public variable, which returns the live data, basically a getter for this private variable. We are observing this variable toolbar state in my main activity. So if I just go to on create function and go to my local function bind UI, here you can see I'm observing this toolbar state. So like whenever the state changes to a normal view state, we are calling this function set normal toolbar, which is uh, changing this toolbar color to pink. And we are also doing something more uh, like this, like clearing this list. And when it changes to a multi-selection mode, we are calling this function set selected toolbar, which basically changes the uh, background color to gray like color which is represented in my color xml and we are inflating a new menu with these three menu items and with a navigation button right there and one thing i haven't told you is uh this main state manager class if i go to my main view model i have created a private variable of state manager which is instantiating this class main state manager for the first time in my view model and 
as always, we are exposing this private variable using a getter field. And that's how I'm communicating with the state manager using the view model from the main UI. That's how you can see something like main view model, the state manager, that means it's calling this state manager and then this sub function. So this is how we are managing a toolbar state. But how are we activating this multi-selection state? To explain this, let me first explain you how this thing actually works. So in our main state manager, we have another private variable which is underscore selection nodes which is also mutable like data but it is of type array list and what are we basically doing is whenever we perform an on long click on the adapter we are activating the multi-selection state and we are adding this current item to this selected node. The way we are doing is by using this function, add or remove clip from selected list. So it adds a clip, that is my item, and we check if it contains it. If yes, then we will remove it. If not, then we will add it. So if I just click it, it will add it. And if I just again click it, it will remove it from the list. So let me just pull this out, adjust some of the windows. Okay, so like I said, we are listening to on long click in the adapter. And the way we are doing it is by passing a lambda function through my adaptive constructor so whenever we invoke this on long click it will change the state of the toolbar to multi-selection state by using this function set toolbar state which is defined in the state manager so we are changing this value underscore toolbar state to multi-selection state and we are also adding the current clip selected node mutable live data array list by using this function add or remove clip from selected list just like i said earlier so whenever the state changes to multi-selection state which we are observing in the bind UI function. It called this set select toolbar and inflate the new menu with the new background color and navigation button. So if I just go to my adapter, you can see we have a Lambda function. So this function gets called on the long click listener on this main item. All right, but how we are actually changing the color? This is the exact reason why we created a live data selected nodes. So what are we basically doing is in this CI adapter, we are passing live data selected clips, which we are observing in this adapter. Whenever this list contains the current item, we will change the background color to somewhat color like gray. And if it doesn't contain the item, we are setting the transparent color. That's all basically how we are doing it. Okay, so now let me just quickly show you how are we hiding these two views like this image view and this small text view whenever we go into the multi-selection state so based on our previous logic like we did for the selected nodes we have another private variable is multi-selection unable which is also a light data of type boolean which is also exposed using public variable multi-selection state which provides a get into this private variable whenever the state changes to a multi-selection state we will set the value of this like data to true and just like we did earlier from the main ui i have passed this multi-selection state variable to my adapter and we are observing this variable like data in my on bind view holder so like whenever this multi-selection enable variable sets to true that means we will hide these two views and when it's not then we are showing it but how do we know when it goes to a multi-selection state so in this class constructor i am observing the toolbar state whenever the toolbar state changes to multi -selection selection state we are changing mutable live data to true and that's how you get a clean and smooth multi-selection in recycle view and yeah one thing i haven't shown you is how are we selecting all items and deselecting all items and also keeping the records of how many items we have selected if i go back to my main activity there is a function called set toolbar common stuff so all we are doing is listening to the menu item click meaning when we click on select all button we are calling a function from the state manager which is add all to the selected state and when we deselect the item by clicking on deselect button we are calling clear selected list function and by the name you have guessed what this function are doing basically add all to selected list is adding all the lists from our adapter to the selected node mutable data and clear selected list function is removing all the items from the selected nodes mutable live data talking about keeping all the records of selected items in the same function if we go down we are observing the selected nodes so whenever it is greater than zero we are setting the toolbar subtitle to the value of selected items and when it's not then we are setting a blank string so this is how you implement a multi-selection state in the recycler view app which is implemented using the mbvm architecture unfortunately i can share you the source code because currently i'm working on this project and this app is unfinished but i can assure 
preview like whenever i will release this app i'll make the source code open on github so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions just leave a comment and i'll reply you as soon as possible so that's it and i'll see you in the next one